All right. Now that we've talked about the basic features of your console that you want to get set up for your show, I want to talk about the more advanced features in your console. Hi, I'm David Henry from Lawyer and Stage Lighting, and you've joined us in 5 Minutes to Better Lighting, a 30-day journey where we're going to talk about how you can improve your lighting in just 5 minutes a day. Okay? Now, advanced features in consoles like networking support, uh, you know, MIDI macros and other macros, cloning, um, embedded presets. These are all tools that come from your console's provider, whoever that may be, to help you be able to make a more complex show and, and maybe to speed up programming, okay? But if you're new, one of the biggest mistakes that I see people doing is they'll go in the manual, they'll be reading along, and they'll see references to a lot of these advanced features. And I did this too when I was new to lighting. And when you see those, those features that look cool, sound interesting, would probably help your show, you then go in and you say, hey, I want to be able to do that. And you might only have put a couple hours in on the console. You might be really new to it. And you say, I'm going to learn this. So you dive in, you learn it, you try to use it. And it might not live up to your expectations. So my biggest recommendation here is work on the basics first. We've covered in these past few videos how to set up your console for success. How to really set things up so that you can have a great show. And you could follow this way of doing things for the rest of your life. You could follow this way of setting up your console for a long, long time and make great shows. The truth is, setting up a great show doesn't mean you have to be a master of a console. And so what I'm getting at here is, you know, there's some people and some personality types especially that really want to dive in. And if they see, if you see a feature in a console that's there, you want to know how to use it, and you want to use it on your show. But I want to flip that coin over and really encourage you in this video that if you are new to this, if you haven't put a lot of time in lighting shows or using your console, one or the other or both, then focus on getting the basics great first. Focus on doing a really great job with these basic tools that I've laid out in the last few videos and try not to be distracted by features you don't need. Truth be told, some of the greatest you know shows out there are made by lighting designers who are not an expert at consoles and who are not doing fancy things. Because at the end of the day, it's not about being the best person at a console. You want to be good. You want to work to improve your skills, become faster, and do a greater job. But nobody knows whether you're using all the advanced features in the audience. Nobody knows that, whether you're using those or whether you're not. So if you want to go deeper on more advanced features, you know, be sure to check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. I've got a link below. And also, if you're new here, hey, grab my gear guide. I've been promoting it this month. It's just the gear that I've found that is a really great value from various manufacturers for people at various levels of lighting. Then I will see you back here tomorrow where we're going to continue our series and we're going to be talking more about setting up your console for a great show. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.